Father, in the name of the shackle-breaking Christ, I lift up my brothers and my sisters in this house, oh God. I pray that you would release your shackle-breaking power to break the chains of low self-esteem, to break the chains of abuse, to break the chains of scars and wounds of bad decisions in our past. I pray that you would guard our example that our children might not walk in the ways that we have erroneously walked in. I pray for every man, every woman, that you might touch our hearts, oh God, to keep us mindful of the paths and examples that we set for our children. And then, oh God, we call upon you to break every chain, every chain of bondage. I come against every, I come against every shackle of suicide I, I pray especially for that brother, that sister here or watching that has been wrestling, that sister has been struggling with suicide, of devastation and failure and faltering and bad choices and scars and wounds and weakness of faith and lack of faith. I pray, oh God, I break that spirit of suicide in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak healing of past wounds and scars. I keep, I, I speak healing, oh God, of weak faith. I pray that you would use us for your glory. I pray, oh God, that you would make us testimonies of your chain breaking power. And do it in Jesus' name. If you've never accepted Jesus the Christ as your Lord and Savior, that's where it begins. When you call upon him as Lord, you must first make him your Lord. There'll be someone at this altar to share with you, to pray with you. As you go down from this place, be prayerful this week that God would keep your eyes open. God's going to show you some things this week, some things in yourself, some things in your past, some things in your journey, some things in your past. He's going to show you some things in your children. And he's going to direct you to walk by faith that he might get glory. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the power of God and the very presence of the Holy Spirit rest on you, rule in you, and abide with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. See you next week.